We are in Trondheim, dining at one of Norway's best restaurants, Spilesalen, situated within one of the world's most stunning hotels, Britannia. This hotel has been an icon in Trondheim since 1870, and in 2019 underwent a $160 million renovation, transforming it once again into one of the world's most luxurious hotels. There's no better place to start your Trondheim adventures. This city should definitely be on your bucket list. In 2022, the Trondelag region was awarded the European Region of Gastronomy, which further cemented Trondheim's position as a gastronomic hub in Norway. Welcome to our crib. Come on in. We're here at the Britannia Hotel and we're staying in the Liv Ullman Suite. So we're gonna take you on a little room tour and then I'm gonna tell you all about the hotel. The Britannia Hotel is without a doubt Norway's most fabulous and extravagant hotel. And it also happens to be one of our favorite hotels in the world. This is the magnificent living room, of course, with chandeliers, a balcony, of course, there's a Krug champagne in the hotel minibar, so uh, if you're looking to indulge while you're staying in this fantastic suite, this is the place. Super comfortable bed from Heston's, one of the best beds in the world, and of course, the pillows are equally comfortable. Where's the TV? But my favorite feature of all in this room, the gold bathtub. This is maybe the most fabulous bathtub I've ever seen. It's so spacious, could easily sit too. Perfect for bubble bath parties. Wow, I'm definitely gonna be taking some baths in here. With four rooms, this suite is so big, it's crazy. And it wouldn't be the Live Omen suite without a dressing room, of course. Fit for a star. Perfect place to put on your makeup. Of course, Trondheim, the city, has quite a lot to offer in terms of great restaurants and lots to do. But while staying at Britannia, you could almost never leave the hotel if you really wanted to. There's a beautiful spa with lots of different saunas and pools. There's a state-of-the-art fitness center, and there's plenty of restaurants to keep you full. There's the Brasserie Britannia, where you can get French-inspired dishes. There's a cocktail bar and a wine bar. Then there's the Palmahaven, where you can have afternoon tea or maybe uh, one of Norway's best breakfasts. And then, of course, there's Spilesalen, which is the Michelin-starred restaurant. Chef Christopher Davidson uses local Norwegian ingredients to craft a luxurious tasting menu. Alongside, there's plenty of bubbles because they're one of the Krug embassies. This hotel loves Krug champagne so much that in addition to having it in the mini bar, downstairs at the wine bar, and pretty much by the glass at every restaurant and house, they also have just launched a brand new Krug room service. The Krug room service comes in a gorgeous, specially designed box with a secret key only for the truest of champagne lovers. Open the box to find a treasure trove of goodies and some fun Krug-themed souvenirs. Best of all, there's a Polaroid camera, so you can capture moments from what's guaranteed to be a memorable evening. Of course, the champagne is the star of the show, served naturally with a box of Britannia Selection caviar. On the side, an assortment of local charcuterie, cheese, and sweet treats. Everything you need for an indulgent night in. This room service is a Krug lover's dream. From the logo engraved on the wine glasses to the bespoke gold napkin holders. This was the perfect way to celebrate our anniversary, and we highly recommend it for a special occasion. It's easy to see why this is one of our favorite hotels in the world. 
Now we're heading down to dinner at Spalsalen, which is the Michelin starred restaurant in Britannia. One car seat. The name Spalsalen means the Hall of Mirrors, which is fitting for such a grand fine dining restaurant. We chose to start our night in the caviar bar, where we enjoyed a selection of pearls alongside champagne and ice cold vodka. We are starting off with our um, Spelsalen Gold selection. It is a hybrid race of two different ones called Bayeri and Oseta, so it's quite mild but uh, creamy and delicious. While sitting at the counter, we tasted four different types of caviar. It was so interesting to compare them one after the other and experience the pure, raw flavors of the sea. Then came some of the first snacks. The presentations at Spalsalen are some of the most stunning we've ever seen in a restaurant. It's like eating food from Baku's door, the world championship of cooking. Spalsalen's chef, Christopher Davidson, took the silver medal in the competition in 2017, but it's rare to see this high level of presentation in a restaurant setting. We loved watching the chefs plate the dishes right in front of us. One of our favorite snacks was the king crab tartlet with lemon verbena, creamy fennel, and a gel made of shellfish stock. Almost too pretty to eat. Next up was a play on a traditional fiskabala, a fish ball, made from scallop offcuts. Then we moved to our table in the dining room for the main part of our meal, but we still had some action from the kitchen happening right in front of us. The first course was one of our favorites of the night, an egg custard with caviar, Jerusalem artichoke, elderflower, and chives. The sauce was so good we could drink it with a straw. The next dish transported us to Asia. Halibut ceviche served with a Norwegian curry made from local farm ingredients, also with pickled beetroots and a bouillon of black currant. King scallops, as we call them. Gonna lightly score them, caramelize them in uh, the pan. Nice local uh, butter, and serve them with, uh, I'd say, some unorthodox uh, garnishes. A bit of uh, fermented mushrooms, pumpkin, and cream cheese. It's no secret that Norwegian scallops are the best in the world. And the very best ones are hand-dived right here in Trondelag. Of course, they're even better when served with a glass of Krug. Here we had a side-by-side -side pairing of the 2006 vintage and the Grand Cuvée. Uh, Langustins are from uh, Misun, super fresh. So next up we're gonna do the tail. It's gonna go on the yakitori grill. I hope so. Grilled langustin, straight from the grill. Underneath, homemade tomato puree on uh, Norwegian tomatoes from uh, Hanasan. Sauce made from the head and the bones on the langoustine. Fresh tomato juice on the Norwegian tomatoes uh, and a tiny hint of jalapeno as well. So it's a little bit of nice uh, heat to it. The last savory course might have been our favorite of all. Arctic char, cooked to perfection and served with a pickled cucumber salad and two sauces. One of set mushrooms and one made from cockles, mussels and vinjon. Spalsalen was awarded its first Michelin star less than a year after opening. And in our opinion, it won't be long before they earn their second. So basically the main ingredient here is uh, Jerusalem artichoke and uh, morel cherries. And on the side to finish it up, we have a softies, which is a brown butter softies. So the idea here is to take the softies, put it in the middle of the dessert, try to mix everything together. Right, 
but this is our selection of our petit four to end up the meal. So I start from the one that in the spoon. So what we have here is uh, vanilla cream on the bottom, and on top of it we have a gel made from a raspberry and elderflower. And then jump to the next one is our tartlet. So on the bottom we have a tartlet, and we fill it with a black currant and licorice sugar. And to top it off, we have a black currant gel. And then jump to our chocolate. What we have here is a milk chocolate that we infuse with bergamot. And to top it off, we have a lemon curd and juice and artichoke chips. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!